Today's business notes are brought to you by Community Bank, the better business bank. Hello, I'm Stacy Smith, and in today's business notes, yesterday brought an end to a tough first quarter. Today was the first day of the second quarter, and things are not looking any better, if not worse. The markets resume their downward move today, especially after the president said the next two weeks are going to be very tough. He, of course, was referring to the life and death struggle with the virus. But things are also going to be tough for the next two weeks, if not months, economically. The latest survey on manufacturing shows factory output and jobs dropped at their fastest pace since the Great Recession. That is not only in this country, but worldwide, and it is not expected to improve anytime soon. The big automakers reported their sales numbers for March, and the numbers are not good. Ford sales were down 8%. General Motors sales were down 7%. Fiat Chrysler saw a drop in sales of nearly 5%. The analysts are predicting that April could be even worse. This morning, the private payroll company ADP released its latest survey on hiring, and it shows that small businesses so far have been hit harder than the larger manufacturing companies with layoffs. And numbers set to be released tomorrow could be a shocker. The weekly unemployment numbers are expected to show another dramatic week of layoffs. Last week, Pennsylvania led the nation with numbers of jobless claims. Investors digested all of that, and that led to another sell-off on Wall Street. Here now are the closing numbers for the day. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down triple digits, giving up 973 points, or 4% of its value. The NASDAQ was also down 4%, giving up 339 points. And the S&P 500 joined the list of those losing triple digits by giving up 114 points, or 4% of its value. As the president said, things are going to be tough. I'm Stacy Smith.